Hey y'all, Dustin Schaefer here, The Keto Pro, and we're going to talk about how do you go out and have fun and yet uh, not gain a bunch of weight or not fall back on your plan. Um, this is really important. This is one of my favorite topics. Uh, I've been blessed to, over the last uh, five, five and a half years during the holiday seasons, help hundreds of thousands of people lose body fat during the holidays and have fun. So I want to give you that, that advice throughout the entire year. It's about celebration. Now, it's really important for us to recognize that there's no more cheat. We're not cheating anymore. That, that word already defeats us. And so this is about celebration, celebrating that you're doing a lot of things right, celebrating that you have a memory of, of a time or food in your life that, that you enjoy. But how can we do all that and still get results and maintain results? The truth is, I think you'll get better results when you can find the balance and all that. Now, if you're celebrating every night, yeah, it might get, it might catch up on you, y'all. So you have to find your how much you can celebrate without falling backwards. Maybe it's once a month. Maybe it's twice a month. Maybe it's once every six months. Maybe it's once a week. You have to find that out yourself. I cannot decide that for you, but I'm going to give you a plan to help you through that process. If it's a date night, if it's a holiday, if it's a birthday, if it's just you know friends are getting together, or maybe it's just a special moment in your life, or maybe you're a little bit overwhelmed and stressed, I'm going to give you a plan to take care of that. The first thing you want to do, most important thing you want to do is drink ketones daily, reboot with us, reboot 60 hour keto reboot, and do the 24 fast. If you put that together, you can't help but have success. Now, if you miss one here and there, I understand that makes sense. But when you're going to have a celebratory time, when you're going to go out, let's say we're going to call it a date night or a holiday, what you want to do is you want to increase your serving by one on those days. And this is usually what I recommend is you sandwich your ketones. So if you're going out at five o'clock at night, you're going to do is on like, let's call it four o'clock before you go out, you're going to have a ketone. You want a full, you can have Keto Pro or you can have a Keto Nat or an Unleashed. And what you want to do is you're going to have it before you go. Why? Is because it's going to reduce your cravings. It's going to reduce how much you eat. And therefore, and then it also has a blunting effect of, of absorbing carbohydrates. So it's kind of like you can kind of get away with a little bit more without having the, the repercussions. Now, if you can do this, have another one when you're done before you go to bed that night. Have another one, a non-caffeine before you go to bed. Sandwich it together if you can do that. If not, that's okay. But if you can, that's optimal. The next two nights or the next two days, sorry, I want you to increase your ketone levels by one. And what that does is as you get your ketone levels elevated, it protects you from going out and binge eating again. Now, uh, this is really, really important because what happens is it's not the night that you did it or the day you did it. It's the three days after that you keep doing it that gets you caught up in trouble. Okay, By increasing your ketone levels, it helps turn down that mechanism, get you back on track. Now, I'm going to give you a couple other tips that you can do to help maximize this experience so you can have fun and not have the guilt that comes with you. we got to let that guilt go. That guilt... The disappointment, the cheating feeling is what's actually going to cause a lot of uh, biochemistry challenges for you and keep the weight on and keep your health down. We want to be able to celebrate and actually appreciate and have fun with these things. You just got to be careful how often you do it. So a couple other tips. Reboot with us every month. 60 hour keto reboot. As many times as you can every month, it will keep you even and keep you or ahead of the game without falling backwards and come do the 24 fast with us every month drink ketones daily 24 fast these are a couple tips that will help you out here's a couple more tips drink more water <laughs> drink more water now i believe in exercise and, and activity i think that's really really important when you know that you're going to have more celebratory times if it's during the holidays, if it's maybe you have, we have birthday month in October and November, but like all the birthdays are in the same month. So we have more celebratory times. On those times, on the days that you're not celebrating, I want you to be more strict low carb. You're kind of like, it's like a bank account. You're kind of, you're, you're, you're banking on, uh, you're giving yourself more credit so that when you have fun, you have a little bit more wiggle room. Also, what I want you to do is I want you to move a little bit more. I call it the 510 rule. And then in between or all your activity days, increase your activity by five or 10 minutes. It's really simple. If you don't do anything, start doing something, five or 10 minutes. If you're already active, add five or 10 minutes when you know you're having that. What it's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna give you some more flexibility during that time of having fun. So remember though, we don't cheat, we are celebratory. We go out and celebrate. This is really important. Uh, sandwich your, your, your carbs, uh, your meals, your fun times with ketones. Increase it by one for the next two days after and go have fun. Appreciate it. Celebrate your life. Celebrate your success and stay consistent. Remember, this is a journey and everybody's journey is different. You got to find your journey. But if you stay consistent, you'll find out what that looks like. Bye, y'all. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. For the next video of the series, check out right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we send out the next video. You get notified and you can check out the latest on the keto journey. Cheers, y'all.